Hey guys, what's up? Andre here from Beef and Techie. Here with a new updated guide for people who want to stream with a Elgato Game Capture HD or the Hotpog HD PVR. Now, these are the original devices. Um, not talking about anything newer, not like the Hotpog HD PVR 2, the Rocket, or anything like that, because these, as I know right now, do not work with this method. Um, as well as the Elgato Game Capture HD 60, it does not work with this method. It is already stated that it will not work. Um, in order for you to do this, you need ITV3. If you have an Elgato Game Capture, if you have an Elgato Game Capture HD already, all you have to do is send them an email. They'll send you a product code for you to use the ITV. You can then download it, use the product key, and you'll be able to only use the Elgato Game Capture HD. It's the only device it will allow you to use. So if you have a Hotpog HD PVR and you want to try getting a free code, this will not work for you. You have to spend the 80 bucks to actually get it. Um, pretty sure you can find a coupon code somewhere and get it for a, a cheaper price. Either way. So I'm going to go ahead and close Chrome. What we're going to do is we're going to um, we're going to open up ITV. I'm going to do it this way. So we're going to open up ITV, and once we open up ITV, we'll automatically see, I've already done the whole setup, things like that. So as you guys can see, you can see my PlayStation 3 um, cross media bar. Um, this is the annoying part is, being that's a USB 2.0 device, it is a little bit delayed, so there is a tad bit of delay. Either way. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the audio to automatically go through WaveTap, which I've already done here. Um, this here is just my mixer, so I always use a mixer whenever I do these types of things. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go on to OBS, <coughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to add another siphon, or we're going to basically set this up for a siphon. So we're going to go ahead and say this. We're going to say ITV, hit OK. I'm going to launch Siphon Inject. We're going to scroll on down to the bottom and we're going to see ITV. I'm going to go ahead, hit Inject. And then what I like to do is I like to quit this program because there is no need to have this program open after this unless you need to inject another program. But for that, you could just go ahead and launch it again. And when you want to close a program, never just click on the X because the program is still running. So it's still using resources and things like that. So your best bet is while the program is open, just take a quick look up here right next to the Apple, it'll tell you what program is running. You can go ahead and just click here and just go ahead and click, click, quit, Siphon Inject, or you can just hit Command Q and it automatically closes it. Um, <coughs> this is one of the things that a lot of people tend to do and they like to leave things running and it pretty much takes up a lot of resources on their CPU. So now, as you guys can see, um, we have the PS3 from ITV because I can basically show you that you know this is ITV because as you can see I was able to manipulate so everything that you see on the screen here you'll see there which is you know kinda surprising so you basically don't want to have your mouse over it so if you want you can go ahead and minimize it and you don't have to worry about those things anymore. And you're pretty much all set. All you have to do is go into the settings, go into audio, set your desktop audio device to wave tap, especially if you're using something like, let's say, T board for all your notifications and things like that. You can do that. Um, I have my mic set up for built in input because that's from my mixer. It's going into the built in input, and I'm pretty much all set from there. So that pretty much sums it all up for anyone who wants to stream from, once again, from an Elgato Game Capture HD or from the Hophog HD PVR. This guide here is basically for you. If you guys have any further questions, please feel free to email me at bifu, please, which is B-I-F-U-P-L-Z at B-I-F-U-T-E-K-I dot com. 
or you can tweet at me and I can answer your questions on Twitter. And that's at Bifuteki. That's at B-I-F-U-T-E-K-I. And I can pretty much answer your questions there. If you need premium support, that we'll have to talk about via email. So that's pretty much sums it all up. Either way, please subscribe to the channel and check us out on Twitch and MLG. Both on there. Um, channels are just Bifuteki. Just like we are on Twitter. Anyway, thank you guys. Later.